Welcome back to Madden 22 Win Now Franchise here with the Dallas Cowboys and would have had this video out yesterday but just got the COVID vaccination and it hit me hard. Didn't really do anything, pretty much slept the whole day but we are good to go now, ready to go here in week number seven and eight, the buy first and taking a look at what we need. So this is one we have to make a move for sure. Now, offensively, I think we're good. We're averaging 34 points a game. That's probably near the top of the league. But it's really defensively where we are absolutely struggling. We knew that coming into the season that it was going to be a struggle. But you can see, passing, we are the third worst passing defense in football. As for rushing defense, we're actually number two. So we're stopping the run. We just can't stop anybody passing on us. It's all day. As for points allowed third worst in the NFL. Now for sacks, when it comes to passing yards, we have 15 sacks on the season as a team. That's not too bad. You're in the middle of the middle of the road in the NFL, you know, near the top 10. So really, it is coverage. You can see the corners. Jordan Lewis, Brown, uh, um, Maurice Kennedy, Diggs. A couple of these guys are younger below, but it's just not the quality right now. I mean, if we have any better type of defense with this offense, this team is going to be for sure like a winner there's no doubt about that so i'm thinking we're gonna need a top of the line corner as for safeties i'm fine with malik hooker he's played very well donovan wilson's been you know okay all right but really corner is the main concern now taking a look at these teams around the league you have the colts at one and five rams at one and five and i think the most surprising the bills i mean i guess the rams surprising at one and five a lot of people Obviously have them as almost a Super Bowl contender this year. Bills at 1-5. That's a pretty crazy. That could be another Super Bowl contending team. So two teams down the list there that could be possibility. Dolphins at 2-4. The Broncos at 2-4. I think well, let's take a look at Denver first. Because I know they have a couple solid guys. Kyle Fuller, Bryce Callahan. And obviously with the Chiefs in that division, they're not going to really compete for it at all. And I'm not sure if they'll compete for a wild card because that AFC is absolutely stacked. So I think one of those two guys could be a possibility. Now, the one I wanted to really try for was Xavier Howard. Now, I know he re-signed a new contract at the uh, beginning, just a few weeks ago, really, because he wanted to be traded. He was not too happy. They're not doing too well right now. Two of four, could he be had? But that might be an issue. We're going to try something. So we're going to try a first-round pick this year, second-round pick next year, and see where that puts us at for Xavier Howard. And we still need a lot because it's in the yellow. So... We would probably have to add, I would say, either another second round pick for this year or somebody decent. Now, we try to add Inseki a left tackle, and that just drops it even further. So, I'm not going to really try too much on Xavier Howard. It would just need a lot more than I'm willing right now to give up for him. As for Kyle Fuller, Broncos. So, we're going to offer a first round pick this year, and they're looking for right end, defensive tackle. Uh, we got some guys here. We got plenty of guys. So maybe Tristan Hill. I know he's only 23 years old, but maybe we offer him up. We got plenty of other defensive tackles, and let's see what this gets us. First round pick this year, Hill for Fuller. Deal done. And we finally got ourselves a very solid corner. That's what we want. Now everything can kind of fall down from that, and that gives us somebody that can hopefully stop other receivers, stop a number one, at least shut down a part of the field. And we'll go from there. As for the bye week, Zach Martin wants to know what's going on, what plans we got for this week. Uh, I think rest and relaxation. I think just rest up, get it going. We'll get into next week. We'll get into uh, Minnesota. So just rest up. We're good to go. Nice morale boost for everybody. And we take on the 4-2 and two Minnesota Vikings. Having a pretty good season. Obviously, Dalvin Cook is an absolute beast. You see 682 rush yards, four touchdowns this season. And really, that's going to be the defensive game plan for sure. Just to shut him down. Don't allow him to ruin the game. Now, looking at the reports here, you can see pretty much inside zone from second and even from second and long inside zone. Only a third and long, they go 45% verticals. But even third and short, it's all inside zone, ISO, and power. So they definitely... I mean, they're, they're all about running the ball. There's no doubt about that. As for defensively, they got a pretty good front. So do we do more of a pass, you know, try to shut down the pass, or do you try to run inside? Because we've been running the ball so good this season. It has been fantastic how much we have really run the ball. Uh, do we run inside, or do we blitz counter maybe? Or maybe like throw it medium? 
Uh, I think we'll stick with the run inside. If we can get the run game going, everything falls off from that. I think that's what we got to do. Two passing touchdowns for the weekly game plan goal. And then as for practice, some fatigue for some of these guys. Oh, a hit pointer uh, for Jalen Smith. So he will be out. So that means Keanu Neal is going to have to step in, be that middle backer. Uh, I mean, I don't think we're going to put him in nickel situations. It's going to be more Van Der Esch in there. I think that'll move in. There, as for offensively, nobody fatigued, nobody injured, so that's good to see. But no Jalen Smith, a little bit dinged up there. But let's get into this game against Minnesota Sunday Night Football. They're 4-2. and two. We're 4-2 and two after a big victory in New England against the undefeated Patriots team coming off the bye. So hopefully, hopefully we can carry that momentum and uh, get a victory and go to 5-2. and two. Kirk Cousins having a pretty decent season. And so is this Vikings team. And really, this is this might be the last last season or the last-ditch effort for Cousins in this Vikings uniform. Uh, this is a very veteran-related team, so they need to win now as well. So here we go into Minnesota. Kick is underway. They will receive the ball first. And we'll start, they'll start at the 25-yard line. So here comes Cousins and this Vikings offense. And you can see what he is doing on the season. Ten touchdowns, one pick. So having a very solid season. Obviously at four and two, this is exactly what these Vikings team wants to see. So here we go. Second and two. They'll hand off to Dalvin Cook and Cook up the middle. I think that'll be just enough to pick up a Vikings first down. So up to the 36-yard line. Here comes the blitz. We bring it, but it's picked up perfectly. But no, not this time. Good coverage down the field. And Lawrence gets through for the sack. He's really having a fantastic season and this brings up a second and 21 as Cousins looking at what happened there. Wide open and going to be a touchdown. Unbelievable play there. What happened? The coverage was just not good at all. A lot of mistakes. And it was looking good after that sack, but 74-yard touchdown. And here we go again with the defense. Unbelievable. First and ten. So now the offense is going to have to answer right back. C.D. Lamb, who having a great week in New England. He has the catch, and he has a first down. So first and ten from the 35. Dak dropping back, throwing, firing. This one's caught by Michael Gallup. And Gallup right down the field to the 38-yard line. Said before, want to get him obviously more involved. He's been very quiet as of late, but if we can get him going, have all three of those receivers just, you know, in play, that's what you want to see. First and ten. We've seen a lot of this this season. And there goes Ezekiel Elliott for a nice run up to the 25-yard line. First down and trying to answer with a touchdown of her own here to tie this ball game right back up. Second and nine. Dak over the middle. This one's going to be picked off. Anthony Barr is there. He dropped back into coverage. Uh, just a not a good decision. Really not good. And that's not what you want to see at all. You do not want to turn the ball over in the red zone at all. And that is not what we want to see. And hopefully, it, but it coming right back, the defense gets a stop. Malik Hooker gets in there, makes the tackle, and that is a quick three and out. So at least the defense, great job, you know, picking up the offense there and allowing us to get back at it here and trying to get something going. Second and ten, Dak looking down the field. He's going to throw it way over Dalton Schultz's head. He had him. He completely missed him there. So third down and ten. Dak in the pocket, just a four-man rush. We go to Gallup with the catch, and Gallup up to the 39-yard line, and it's going to be just short. And it's too early in the game to really go for it, so we're going to have to punt the ball in Minnesota back at it as Dalvin Cook with the carry makes a juke move, and then Dalvin Cook's off to the races. Keanu Neal, can anybody get him? Nope, he's gone. Touchdown. What a start for Minnesota. Two huge plays on the offensive side of the ball. And they're going to go up 14-0 here in this first quarter. Man. All right. We got to settle down a little bit. We're in a bit of a shock as Zeke takes a hit but still picks up the first down. You know, it's still early. It's still the first quarter. I know we're getting to the end of the first quarter, but it's only a you know, two-possession game. Can't go crazy as Dak with the throw finds Schultz this time. You know, we can still run the ball, still run our offense. Third and eight now from the 46. We've got to pick up this first down. We're going to go to Amari Cooper, and I believe Cooper's going to be just short, but we are definitely going for it here at the 39-yard line. No field goal. We're going for it. Run the ball. 
up the middle. Zeke's got it. First down, gain of five as Schultz is a bit shaken up. But we get the first down. Still see this is crowd's kind of rocking, camera shaking as Zeke up the middle. This time gets hit hard again, and depending on the spot, another first down, and he does. Another first down for Zeke, and let's hope we don't turn the ball over this time here in the red zone. As first and ten play action, Everson Griffin gets right in there. There's really not much you could have done about that. I mean, right when he turned around, it was a sack. Got to have better blocking. Second and 19 now. Dak going up top looking for Jarwin, and that's going to be incomplete. And then we lost connection to the server, so that's going to knock us out. We'll get right back into this game, but you can see the uniforms are changed up. So that's the one problem I have seen, obviously, with the online franchise. You know, if just for a split second the server goes wrong as we go down. Amari Cooper touchdown on third and 19. Huge play. I know you get right back into the game, but still, a uniform thing kind of makes me a little, uh, irks me a, a lot, that's for sure. But there you go. Big play on third and 19. Nice throw by Dak. Get the touchdown to Cooper. We're right back at it here. 14-7. Eight minutes left here in the second quarter. As Cousins down the middle. What is, what is going on? What is Neil doing? He's just standing there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This defense is really bad. Second and nine, handoff to Dalvin Cook. Maybe not in the pet run game because, I mean, other than <laughs> Dalvin Cook getting loose for like 70-some yards, but other than that, we have shut him down. Third and nine, Cousins looking, and he has got the catch. And he gets laid out by Van Der Esch. Ball is loose, and Van Der Esch recovers. So might have got beat in the uh, pass coverage for sure, but made up for it with the huge hit, ball loose, recover. And we get a turn of our, of our own, and now we got to take advantage. And that's exactly what we do. C.D. Lamb, touchdown. That's what we want. That was a big play, and we've tied this ball game up at 14 apiece. Those are the throws you want to see on the money, right over the defender's head, just enough. And with the speed that C.D. Lamb has, he's got it, and he is gone for the touchdown. That's what we want. All right, tied up at 14, back to square one. Don't even have to worry about this big, big plays. We got a couple of our own. So second and seven, over the middle. That's going to be caught. That's going to be another first down. And right now I'm going to have to sit, say, if Minnesota just decided they want to throw the whole game, uh, we're, we're going to have a hard time stopping it. First and ten after that D.D. Westbrook first down. It's going to be Dalvin Cook with the carry. Not a whole lot there and brings up a third down and four. As Cousins fires quickly, caught, and that is going to be enough for a first down as Westbrook with another catch as Cousins' perfect start 7-7 seven seven with that touchdown. First and 10, Cousins looking. Can somebody get to him? Somebody needs to. He just throws it. It's up in the air, and it's caught by, oh, my. <laughs> oh, man. Irv Smith Jr. there, right place, right time. Ball popped up in the air. I thought that was going to be a pick for sure. I, man, we're just not having any luck here with anything defensively. I mean, this one should be picked. It's just being thrown up. Brown with a good deflection, but he deflected it right up in the air, and he said, Irv Smith, right place, right time, down to the 11-yard line, and now we're going to get a stop. Second and five, nice job. You see, Malik Hooker is really playing some great in-the-box safety play this year. He has been fantastic. So third and five, maybe the final play here before the two-minute warning. As Cousins looking in the pocket, we're just going to send pretty much eight in coverage. Three-man rushing. It works out in our favor. Ball's loose. And that's going to be Randy Gregory with the recovery. Huge play by the defense. Getting the fumble on Cousins. We recover. And Minnesota's not even going to pick up anything here. And now we got a minute 54. Oh, we got two timeouts, plenty of time. Now we can get some points. Dak dropping back on a second and ten. He is looking, and he fires underneath the gallop, who has the catch. Takes a hard hit, picks up around five, and brings up a third down and five here from the 25. As Dak looking, firing. Oh, man. Can't hit Schultz. Incomplete. And we have to punt the ball. First and ten. So now Minnesota, they have the chance. to go to the outside. That's going to be caught. First down, Justin Jefferson. First time really heard from him this ball game. He's up to the 48-yard line. Got out of bounds as well. So you have, still have all three of their timeouts. As now Cousins outside. That's going to be caught by Thielen. Same thing. Really haven't called his name at all this game as well. But 
Catch, first down, timeout Minnesota, and they're moving it. Third and six. Going up top, Fuller's going to defend this. It's going to be incomplete intended for Jefferson. They're going to call pass interference on that? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wow. They're saying defensive pass interference instead of a stop and possibly hold to a field goal. Now they're down at the goal line. Good stop there. So third and goal now from the eight. As Cousins looking and wide open, touchdown, D.D. Westbrook. The coverage is just horrible, but how was that defensive pass interference? I do not know. Looks like Van Der Esch is good to go, but look at this. What, what are you doing? Jeez. Oh, Fuller, I'm not sure what he's doing. I, I Maybe he's just confused because it's his first week, but... Why even going that far back in the end zone? There's nobody even back there. So, touchdown, Minnesota, 21-14. Trying to get something. Dak's going to throw this up. That's overthrown intended for Schultz. Harrison Smith is there to pick it off, so that's fantastic. Another turnover. And with 20 seconds left at the 33, they can get even more points here to maybe go up 24-14. So, that is not what we want to see at all. Second 10, trying to set up a screen. Nothing there. That's going to be incomplete. So right now it's about a 50-yard field goal. Maybe we get a sack here. Third and 10. Cousins looking. Good coverage down the field this time. Lawrence comes around and gets the sack. And that's what we want. Defense does enough to hold them. They can't get even three out of it. And we'll go into halftime 21-14. This is really a sloppy game going on right now. So looking what happened to the rest of the league. Look like the Eagles beat the Lions. Washington beat Denver, and obviously the Giants go to Kansas City Monday night. So hopefully maybe the Kansas City Chiefs can beat the Giants. Other than that, Washington and Philadelphia with a victory. Well, uh, I think defensively we got to defend the medium pass. We're just struggling big time in the passing game, and the, uh, defending the pass once again, nothing new there. As we'll get the ball here to start off this second half, not much from Zeke. Really since those first few runs in the first quarter, it's really been nothing in the run game. They have just shut us down. That's a nice pass. Nice catch. Amari Cooper, first down. And we're up to the 49-yard line. Second and 10. And, yeah, this is what it's been. They have just been stopping us all game. Really, since his first few quick carries, just can't get a whole lot. And it's just been having to drop back and throw it. As Dak over the middle is going to find Amari Cooper. And Cooper, just enough, I believe, for a first down. And he does. Up to the 39-yard line. So second and 10. The Dak dropping back the throw. Looking, looking. He's going to flow out. And he misses Jarwin. Had him there. He was open. Just misses him. Incomplete. Third down and 10. Dak looking. Fires. And this one's going to be overthrown. And it's going to be picked off. Uh, Patrick Peterson. Comes down with an interception. We get nothing out of this drive once again. Dak overthrows Gallup. And now Minnesota back at it as Fuller almost had the pick. But Jefferson has it. Oh, and he's gone. He is gone as Parsons trying to get him. Jefferson, touchdown. Um, we're back down 14. 28-14. I thought that was going to be a pick. And it was not. As we go down the field on second down and 10, that is not brought down by Dalton Schultz and now brings up a third down and 10. Here comes the blitz as he overthrows Cooper, incomplete. And that is a quick three and out. So the Vikings back at it now as Dalvin Cook breaks off a tackle. Finally tripped up by Gregory and he's got up to the 42-yard line. And if they score another touchdown here, we're going to be in some serious, serious trouble. As Cousins looking... Firing, caught, and that is, I believe, it's Jefferson. Yep, Justin Jefferson with the catch. He's up to the 38-yard line. Another Minnesota first down. We're bringing some heat. And look how quickly Cousins got rid of that. Oh, man, I thought we were going to have a sack. He just got rid of it in a split second. First down, and now they find Thielen. He's up to the six-yard line gain of 13. And Minnesota almost looking to put this game away. Second and goal. They'll hand off to Dalvin Cook. Nice stop there by Parsons. And he's down at the eight-yard line. So can the defense hold them to a field goal here? With 2.30 left here in this third quarter. Third and goal. Swing out to Dalvin Cook. And Vander Esch with a big-time hit. 
Man, really could have bought a fumble there for sure. But hold them to three, but it's a 31-14 game. What has happened in this ball game? Dak this time finds Gallup for the catch. A, a better, accurate throw, finally, as Dak has definitely been off this game. This is this might be one of his worst games. A lot of throws just not even close. As Zeke with the carry, he picks up five up to the 49-yard line and brings up a third and three as they're going to spread everybody out. Probably four down territory, no doubt about it. And maybe not. Sack. Michael Pierce comes through. I'm not sure if we go for it. Fourth and ten. Uh, we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it here. Down 17, about to head into the fourth quarter. Dak fires, finds Zeke. He's got the catch. First down, and that works out. Down to the 34-yard line, and we'll head into the fourth quarter here, and we're going to have to play quick. Down pretty much three scores as Zeke with another catch out of the backfield. He's got 15 yards. He's down to the 12-yard line. Remember, we can still get a field goal out of this because we will need a field goal at some point. Third and five. Dak looking, and he gets it in there, fits it perfectly in there for the touchdown to C.D. Lamb, his second of the ball game, and that's going to put us back to within 10 with 8.30 left. So now up to the defense. Can you stop Dalvin Cook? Because I'm guessing that's where they're really going to go with this here. Stop him there, but third down and two, and we get a stop. Gallimore coming through. Nice job. Loss of four. And we force a three and out, and now we got to get points. Obviously, got to get some points. It's, oh, man, come on, man. He's there. Missed throw there. Third down and ten. Now Dak looking. And can he get any help? He lobs it up to Gallup, and he has the catch. I mean, you can't make it pretty much a simple throw to CeeDee Lamb, but you float a crazy pass on the run. Perfectly to Gallup. I, mean, I don't understand what's going on in this game here. Second down and 10. Dak fires the outside. Lamb has this catch. That's a first down out of the 16-yard line. Man, if we can get a touchdown here, better than a field goal, obviously. That'd be great. Find Gallup. Can he get in there? And he's going to be just stuffed short. Kendricks comes over, makes the stop. Second and goal. 420 left in this ball game. Dak over the middle. That's C.D. Lamb catch. Touchdown. C.D. Lamb's third of the game. So we're back within three. 31 28. 350 left in the ball game. Can we get a stop? And yeah, this is what I would have done in Minnesota. I mean, we've been stopping the run. All Dalvin Cook has really had is one big run, but we can't stop the pass. And yeah, I mean, that's probably your biggest bet here. First and 10. This time, Dalvin Cook finds some room, breaks it back. Great vision there, finding the hole. Up to the 36-yard line, first down, and clock just continues to run. 2.30 left. Another quick throw. And the I thought for sure we are going to get the Cousins there in the blitz, but he finds Irv Smith Jr. catch up to the 16-yard line. And now Fuller's hurt. Just has some muscle cramps. Oh, yeah, that's good. We just traded for him. We don't need him out. Second and 12. And off to Dalvin Cook. Nothing there. Keanu Neal with the stop. We'll have to use the timeouts here now under two minutes and brings up a third and 11. They just decide to run the ball. As Cook continues to go, somebody bring him down. Finally, call our second timeout, and they kick the field goal. So with 146 left, one timeout, we have a chance to win this game, and that's not a good start. Daniel Hunter comes right in there, sack, knocks us back, second and 24. Go over the middle of the gallop. He breaks the tackle, and he picks up maybe an extra five, six yards up to the 26-yard line. Hurrying it up here. Now under a minute. Third and nine. Dak to the outside. That's going to be caught by C.D. Lamb. And he gets out of bounds. Stops the clock. 51 seconds left. Somehow we have a chance to win this game, even though we played really bad. Dak looking. Oh, he has Amari Cooper open. That might have been a touchdown. And he overthrew him. Second and ten. This time makes the throw over the middle to Gallup. That's going to be caught. And we got to spike the ball here. With 26 seconds left. So now third down and 10. 21 seconds left. Dak looking. Watch out. And he gets brought down. We have to use our final timeout. Fourth and 22. Pretty much your ball game. Dak firing. Looking for CeeDee Lamb. Underthrown. Knocked away. Incomplete. And that's your ball game. That is it. And... Uh, that was not good. We played such a great game against New England. 
and we hit that bye week, and it kind of works in a reverse fashion. Kirk Cousins just tore us apart. 22-25, 406, three touchdowns. Dak threw for 4-3, but 24 of 47, three picks. That one pick earlier was definitely my fault. There's no doubt about it, but a lot of his throws, I didn't even show as many throws as he missed as I showed in here. He missed so many throws in this ball game. It was odd. It was bad. He played really bad. At one point, I thought about taking him out of the game. I'm dead serious. I thought I was like, I'm going to take him out because he's awful. As for the defense, which is just awful, you're gone. Brandon Washington, see you later. Defensive coordinator, he is fired. He is out of here. We need something different. We need something new. And he's fired. He is gone. So we're going to hire Todd Hughes. So that 4-3, cover-3 situation, we hire him, bring him in, and then I think what we'll do is go to his talent tree and try to upgrade some of his stuff here right away. So he's got trench play, practice makes perfect. X-Factor's on for the first one. Do we do the boost tack for the linebackers? I think we'll do the linebackers since that's a strength of our defense. Might as well just play to the strength right now. Help out with the injury rating. Uh, let's see. Block shedding for left ends, right ends. We'll take one of those. Let's go. That's boot burst, boost pursuit. We'll do that for sure. Still at 44 points. We'll do the second for clutch to boost tackle there. Squared up. Or do we go over and do this one here for the hot pursuit? Boost one there. Yeah. And this had to be done. Uh, you know, especially this. <laughs> it's kind of cool we can do this. I'm glad that they finally have this back in the game. Yeah, play rec for play rec. For corners? Oh, yeah. That's like a must. We definitely need that. But defensive coordinator fired. New defensive coordinator in. And now we take on the Broncos at 2-6. and six, And this is like a must win again. We have to get this victory. That was an absolutely disappointing game. Hopefully, Dak plays a way better game at home. We can get back at it and get the 5-3. and Because we got Kansas City coming up in a few weeks. And that is going to be a tough game, especially in Arrowhead. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I appreciate it. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.